I feel like Jungle Boy and Sammy have been like in the background to like Darby's uh, head on mm-hmm. uh, feud with MJF. Um, I would be cool with them doing Darby and MJF next. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would be awesome. Darby and MJF to me like are such great foil for each other. It's like Dusty and Ric Flair. It's like the rich kid and the fucking. It's like it's like Jesse from Breaking Bad and fucking the rich kid. You know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. I, yeah. I also love Darby's like fucking uh, <laughs> like uh, high school goth promos and MJF's <laughs> reaction to them, which yeah, is always yes, like, "What the yes. fuck are you talking about?" Nah, <laughs> it works do, out so they well. Do like an interview or a live tour of him from the ninety nine cent store before he <laughs> over. I'm going to be pissed because this man brings up the ninety nine cent store. In every <laughs> promo, I mean, that must be something from where you're from, because I've never heard of a 99 cent store. Like where we're at, it's Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I've heard of 99 cent stores. Uh, we had them in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> I want to, but um, no, yeah, it totally is. It's like, yeah, it's like the punk versus the prep, you know? Yeah. Or like the punk versus like the jock or whatever, you know, just like classic, uh, you know, feud right there. Yeah. But yeah, it'll it'll work out perfectly. And then let yeah let uh let Sammy and Jungle Boy fight next. Let them feud. Right. That's cool. Yeah. And they'll have good matches too. Yeah. yeah. I fucking yeah. I, I mean, there's like every time we get to the MJF stuff, it's like not much to say other than uh, it was fucking awesome. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. I think Jungle Boy needs to turn heel. Yeah. He needs to turn heel. Something needs to happen to him to where he like loses all hope. Kind of like we were talking about with Bianca. And he just snaps and turns heel because I think that that's going to be the only way, in my opinion, that he can that he can continue to progress as a character. He's got such a soft face, though. He's such a soft <laughs> face boy uh, that uh... he it would be cool if he turned heel. But but the only thing I'd be sad about is that he'd have he'd definitely have to lose that entrance theme. The, yeah. the Tarzan boy or whatever it's called. Or, um, uh just because it's like you can't be heel and come out to everyone, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but I and I love that song, but um, he'd have to lose it, yeah, if he went heel. As long as they don't like try to pull the move they pulled on Shinsuke and WWE, where like they didn't want people singing to the song anymore, so they just remixed it. And people still found a way to sing to it. Like, this, <laughs> yeah. it completely different. Uh, yeah, I, I will say a remix. Uh, has worked in AEW in the past, which is uh, Daniel Bryanson. Uh, okay. They did. They added like hard beats to his. Oh intro. right. Which works yeah. so well because I yeah. fucking hate that fucking remix of the song. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> just um, give uh, Jungle Boy. Just give him like a Limp Biscuit song or something. <laughs> real. I mean, it, it's that easy. It's yeah. that easy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um. Yeah. I am also glad that AEW kind of stuck with their guns on the Collision show and Punk didn't come out at the end of this. Same, same. Uh, I, I really, it's like, I just, I feel like Punk's first appearance needs to be in Chicago at the Collision yeah. show. Yeah, and uh, at this point, it's like a given. He's he's going to be on that show. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited for it. Oh yeah, if you like this clip, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, yeah! And check out the channel for the latest episode of the podcast. Dig it!